Nobody but you, nobody but you. When I was in trouble, you brought me through. Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Nobody but you. When I was in trouble, you brought me through. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Was nobody. Hallelujah. When I was in trouble, you brought me through now. Yeah, Lord. Nobody. Hey! Yes, Lord. Glory, glory. Just want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to praise you. Nobody but you, Lord. There's nobody, nobody but you. Oh, yes, Lord. When I was in trouble, you brought me through. Was nobody. Hallelujah. I just want to thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. Hey. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, in my heart. Oh, yes, Lord. I just want to thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey. Want to give you the glory. No party but you, Lord. Brought me out and I thank you. No party but you, God. Deliver my soul. Heal my body. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, oh, yes. We praise your holy name, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being a wonderful Savior. You bringing me out. You bringing me out. Thank you, Jesus. 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 From my belly, I want to thank you. Out of my belly, I want to praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your goodness. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Savior. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All day long. Apostle Mike, Apostle Mike, can you wave your hand? Apostle Mike, I need you down, down here on the stage, please, on the pulpit. Thank you.
好。No ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very, very important announcement I'm getting ready to make. So I need everybody to listen to me really good. There can be no photos other than the official photographer that the family has here tonight taking photos of the deceased. Amen. Amen. Don't take them from a distance. Don't take them from the side. Amen. 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 That is the family's request and we know and we thank you in advance for being cooperative. No photos. Amen. For those that have taken photos, let me say that. For those of you who have already taken your photos, please respect the family and delete that photo. Okay? Everybody that has taken their photos already, please delete the photos. Thank you.
Sister Delois Buchanan, our head usher, I just want to 
I want to release you two, two roles, the family roles. You can see people in those in roles six and five. Amen, Sister Dolores. Okay, we're getting ready to get started. You can take two of those roles here to my left for seating of the family section. If you're already in a seat, please don't move. Only move if the ushers come and ask you to move.
Come on, let's praise the Lord. Come on, clap your hands, all ye people. Come on, we can do a little better than that. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, can we saturate the atmosphere with praise tonight? Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and give God some praise. Hey, glory. I said, come on, give God some praise. He's yet worthy to be praised. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him praise. Come on, raise your praise. Raise the praise. Come on, raise the praise. Come on, all the way in the balcony. Come on, raise your praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's yet worthy in a, even in a time like this. Amen. We know that our mother was a praiser. Amen. Amen. So we come to praise him tonight. Amen. Amen. We come to give him glory. Amen. Come on. We come to give him honor tonight. Amen. Come on. Clap your hands again and give him praise. Glory, glory. As you clap it, let's receive the elect lady, Edna McCaskill, with our prayer in Jesus' name. Come on and praise him. Oh, hallelujah. My soul, thank you, Lord. We magnify you on tonight as we celebrate the life. Thank you for everything she's meant to us, God. Lord, we honor you on tonight. We give you praise, Jesus, for all that you've done in Everything you said, give thanks. So we thank you tonight. We honor you tonight, Lord, for all that you've done. Lift the load on tonight. Come on, Jesus, and lay on us the garment, the garment of praise. Every heavy heart, every bowed down head, everything that needs to be lifted, lift it up, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Tonight, touch the hearts of your people. Look on the family tonight. Bless the weather spoons. Hey, glory. Come on and praise him tonight. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for the Stacks family. Thank you for Shalom. Lift us on tonight. Bind the heaviness. You told us, Lord, if we bind it on earth, you said you'd bind it in heaven bind the enemy on tonight come on Zion and let's praise him tonight come on Zion and let's lift him tonight yes Lord come on Zion praise him come on Zion hey glory my soul let the enemy know it's lifting him up tonight. I thank him for the life. I thank him for every impartation. I thank him for everything you've done. In everything, he said, give thanks. You're right. Hey, my soul does delight in the Lord tonight. I delight in him for all that he's done and all that he's going to do. With one mind, with one voice, come on and praise him. Hey, lift it, mind and heaven in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory, come on, Zion, another step further. Come on, Zion, lift it, put your hands together and praise him. Praise him like you love him. Hey, 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 
Lord. Come on, don't let that mask buzz in your place. Come on, shout it to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Ha na 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 see Glory. Hope I see. Come on, your shine. Yes, Lord. Somebody came to have church tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Those that know our mother, amen, knows that she loved to have good church. Amen. And we getting ready to bring up our scripture reading, amen. But I was reminding the saints, amen, today that when we would travel with mother and we would go to churches and the spirit was a little low, she would start singing, God's not dead. He's yet alive. So every time your spirit want to drop, I just want you to hear that song in your spirit. God is not dead. He's yet alive. Put your hands together and let's receive Minister Tyree Davis with our scripture tonight. Come on, clap your hands and praise him all over the house. Glory to God. Our scripture reading will be coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, starting at verse number 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall, shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God. Hallelujah, but thanks be to God. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know, your labor is not in vain in the Lord. The word of God to the people of God. Amen. Before our praise team come, we do honor the Lord. Amen. For our pastor. Amen. Bishop elect Marvin Winans. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For Apostle Herman Murray. Everyone. Amen. It is take this platform tonight. Amen. We honor the Lord for you. Amen. And let's receive. Amen. In congregational songs. The Shalom Fellowship International Praise Team. Let's put our hands together and receive them in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Some say city called heaven. City called heaven. Come on, church. City called heaven. Somewhere I've got to make it. To make it city called heaven somewhere. Come on, church, let me say city called heaven, city called heaven, city called heaven somewhere. I got to make it, help me to make it city called heaven somewhere. Somewhere 
As soon as the praise team would get done and everybody was sitting down, Brother Stax would lean over and say, Mike, get the mic and sing my song. And we'll say this. How much I owe for love divine. How much I owe since Christ is mine. What he is to me, I know. I cannot tell hey, how much I owe. Blessed Lord was crucified. He paid the debt for me. I know. Hey, I cannot tell. Oh, hallelujah. One more time, Calvary. Jesus died. My blessed Lord hey. was crucified. He paid the debt for my shine. Glory to God. Yeah. We're going on to our, re to our reflections. And we're calling Sister Chrissy Goggins. Sister Cricket Chrissy Goggins. Come on, let's thank God as she comes. Glory to God. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, Jesus. Now you all know when mama got the mic, the first she was gonna think she was gonna say was, Oh come on, praise him! Come on now. It's heavy. It's unexpected. Oh, but God, I thank you. I'm Chrissy Goggins. I'm a member of, here of Perfecting Church. As some of you may know, I was the last daughter of Zion with Mother Boyd. I spent the last eight years of her life under her tutelage. And the only reason why that's relevant at all today is because when Mother Boyd took her flight, Dr. Stacks took me up just as I was hers. There was no voir dire process. She didn't ask me what Mother Boy told me to do. She just took me up. And so from that day to this, I have served her as daughter of Zion. And you know, it really used to boggle my mind. I would ask the Lord, Lord, how? How in the world did I get in this quorum of great women? I would see things I couldn't understand. I, I would sit next to Mother Stacks on the seat or I would talk to her on the phone and I'd get drunk in the Holy Ghost. I'd say, God, why, 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 why would you allow me to do this? And finally one day he answered me. Hey, hey, hey. He said, I can trust you to keep the record. 
I said, oh yes, Lord, you can trust me. So I stand here to say that mother loved us all. She always said, I love people. You couldn't go anywhere with Mother Stacks without her rubbing on the, uh, the waiter. Whosoever will, she would see their conditions. And then all of you here, she told me beautiful stories about Dr. Rita and her endeavors and about Sister Tisha and what she was doing and the, the twins and what they were doing. And she loved us all. And Michelle, and, and you had a great job, and Mama loved us all. She loved us all, and she had an individual relationship with all of us. And I can tell you of a truth. She told me stories. We, we were night owls. So 10:30, 11, I called Mama, and we get on the phone to talk. We talked so long that my oldest twin one night said, Mama, you got to get off the phone. Mother's Stacks is 3 a.m. But she would tell me beautiful stories about everybody, Zeba. She loved Zeba. She loves Zeba. Zeba was faithful. And all of the saints. And so if she ever blew on you, put a hanky on you. If she ever put her hands in your belly. <laughs> if she ever hollered hope in your ear. She wanted us to get it. And she labored for us. Carl and Marcus and Sister Etta was going somewhere to speak. And so I just thank God for all of you. Mother loved you. And she said she had great stories about all of you. So please know that. God bless you. Glory to God. Next we're going to call Prophetess Tisha Gibson. And Minister Jared Brown is coming right after her. We want to remind all of those that are going to give words and have words that the list is quite long. So we want to keep it at two minutes. Amen. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Oh, come on, Zion. I said shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Come on, Zion. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh, 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 Jesus. Glory to God. Huh. I don't have excellency of speech. Mother Stax didn't come to me with excellency of speech, but she came to me with demonstration and power. Demonstration and power. Hallelujah. I said demonstration and power. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I met her in, when I was coming out of the military. I am... Um, I was in a backslidden condition. I was done with the church, praise the Lord. And so I was at Reviving of the Capitol, Prophet Avery Cotton. So I got stuck with her as her driver. I'm gonna make this real quick. And uh, she got in the car and she says, do you believe that he's the God of all miracles? I said, I didn't tell this lady nothing. She said, I said, do you believe that he's the God of all miracles? And she had Sister Allen look up the word miracles. Through my course of traveling the world in the United States Navy, I'm a disabled veteran, and I was dealing with blood issues in my body. Can I testify real quick? And Mother Stax took a long handkerchief out of her purse. And she threw the handkerchief on me, and I fell out under the power of the Holy Ghost in the car. Overseer Mebbin is in here. And I kept saying, what's going on with my body? What'd she do to me? I couldn't shake it. I drank like two cups of Starbucks coffee, trying to get, wake up and come out of it. Mandala ma seko chata, oh God. And so she said, she took it back and put it back in her purse. And she, when I came back, I said, did she go home, Prophet Cotton? He said, nope, she's still here. So I was stuck with her for another week in Washington, D.C. But to make a long story short, being a student at Oral Roberts University, Mother Stacks went with me to school. She said, hey baby, what you doing? What they teaching you down at Oral Roberts? I said, Mama, they teaching me about subjectivism. I'm having a hard time with that word. She says, Tisha, say what he said, say. Preach the word of God, teach the word of God, not your philosophy. God will always leave a witness in the earth. I never met a mother, Stella Boyd, but she was a witness of mother, Stella Boyd. God left her in the earth for me, glory to God. And so I say to you all, be a witness in the earth. The world is watching, 
The world is watching. How we treat one another. The world is watching. The world is watching. Her words got a hook in my soul. God's got a hook in me. And I don't want to get loose. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, Zion. Clap your hands and give God some glory. I only had two minutes. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Glory be to the Most High God. We give honor to God tonight and to his precious son, Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Ghost. Amen. We certainly give honor to Bishop Winans and all the leaders and pastors that have come from near and far. I honor, reverence, and respect the family, specifically mother, affectionately known as Auntie Mary. I thank you for how you have stood by your sister, our mother, for lo these many years. We should stand and give her a rounding praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace for the rest of your days is my prayer. To my Shalom family, Elder and Sister Allen, Elder and Sister Rudolph, Elder and Sister Brown, Elect Lady McCaskill, Dr. Rita Newell, and so many others. Marcus, when we were growing up, we didn't know, but they were teaching us how to be steadfast in the face of adversity, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all for your faithfulness. As I was coming, I said, how do I articulate and encapsulate in this space of time that I've been given a, a woman who has been everything to me for my entire life. Talking about my dear mother, Dr. Gertrude Staggs, who taught me about life, about love, about longevity, taught me the things of God, how to see the enemy coming and understand his strategy, how to discern spirits, both good and even we were young in the academy, how to understand the call of God on my life and to cultivate the gifts that God has given me for such a time as this. You know, mother taught us that God speaks through numbers. And I said, Lord, when you came and took her because she belonged to him, she was 77 years old. And we know that seven is God's divine number for spiritual completeness. But mother said, add that seven and seven together, you get 14, which is deliverance. You split that 14, you have one, which is unity, four, which is new world. You add the four and the one, you got five, which is God's grace. He said she was spiritually and naturally complete. So I delivered her from this world, united her with me in a new world, which is the heavens. And I let her sleep away in me because of my grief. God, I love you. Woo! Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And I said, Lord, there are so many people asking the question and wondering, who gets the mantle of Dr. Gertrude Stacks? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, he said, I let her sleep away in me alone. Because if I had anybody around her, it would be assumed that they received the mantle. He said, but every shot, every touch, every hanky, every impartation, every bottle of oil, every time you was in her presence, you never left her alone. He said, every time you saw somebody despitefully misuse her and she loved them anyway. Every time you saw somebody do her wrong and she prayed for them anyway. He said, that is your mantle. And it's on the inside of every one of us. And now is the time for us to walk it out without hesitation. The Bible says that God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he's going to bring it to pass. And if he spoke it, he's going to make it good. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible says that I have received commandment to bless. And he has blessed. And I can not reverse it. What does that mean? Everything that God gave to you, he's not taking it back. It's on the inside of you. And now you better use it. You better use it to change the world. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands right now. And that's God to stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare that it is so. Hey. Hey. Now I know some, some are looking and saying, what is he talking about? You know us fellowship folk got a language all of our own. We talk from the heavens. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, mother would sit down and split those numbers and tell you what, was, what God was doing in the day. What he doing in the time. If you've ever went out to dinner with her or sat with her, she always talked. 95% of her, her talking was about the heavens. What God was doing in the spirit. Glory to God. At this time, we're asking our very own daughter, Zion. Deborah Allen is coming. Come on, let's thank God as she comes. Come on, let's thank God. Come on, church, and praise him. Oh, come on and magnify him. Let's glorify him on tonight. Yes, Lord. We come to give him a praise and the honor for this great vessel. Yes, Lord. Come on, church. Come on and give him a praise. Come on and lift him up on tonight. Yes, Lord. And we're giving honor to God on tonight, and we're giving honor to Bishop Winans and to the Stacks and the Weatherspoon family, the Shalom Fellowship family, and all that is here on tonight, and all to hon who honor is due. We're just thanking God for Jesus. We're thanking God for Dr. Gertrude Stacks. Yes, Lord. And I'm thanking God for the opportunity I had to work with her for the last 20 years and I tell you the experience was transforming yes Lord sometimes I got my legs whooped I got instructions I got impartations I got prayed for but she put me in a place that I never thought I would reach yes Lord hallelujah and I achieved things that I never thought I would do to the glory of God and I'm thanking God because she was a blessing to my life to my family to my children mother stacks took in everyone amen and prayed and blessed them yes Lord and I'm thanking God for all the things that she has done and I'm thanking God for the opportunity that I not only working with her but traveling with her yes Lord and in 2019 we traveled to many places and the glory of God met us in every places I saw lives transformed I saw people walking in slayed under the power but they had to be going taken out in wheelchairs because they couldn't make it to their cars one time we went to a church and it was just she and I and she was getting ready to pray and the people got on the organ and the drums but it just wasn't a sound because her anointing it had to have the sound that come from the heavens and she but you know what she did she made it happen she took that organist she told him come here baby and she took that drummer she took a towel out of that bag she wrapped it around her she put her hand in his belly and he laid out under the power and when he got up off that floor my god my god he had a different sound she transformed him to play on the level where she was teaching on and where the anointing and the power of God was and she looked at me and she said sister Allen do you hear the sound I say I most certainly do God transformed him right then and there she made it happen and I thank God I saw that down through the years all the miracles that was done in my life and my husband and how she touched our bodies and prayed for us that we could be healed I'm supposed to be in a wheelchair because I had a car accident and it damaged my spinal cord but it's through the grace of God and through the prayers for her that I'm standing here on today oh my God my God she loved the people of God sinner and saint she treated them all alike she put her needs she put their needs before her needs and she would always say she said sister Allen I I don't want to go out on a sick bed I want to go standing on my feet I want to go working and we know that many talked to her the week that she went home and she encouraged them prayed for them blessed them sent oils and hanky she worked all the way up and God allowed her to do that and she would always read that scripture in Revelation about the streets of gold that encouraged her heart and the heavenly host and you know what she's up there with them now praising God she's up there with them now with the saints that went on before her she's up there praising them 
And you know what? We need to praise him too. Come on and praise him. You know, Mother Stacks would get that mic and she'd say, the heavens are rejoicing. She said, I can feel a shout in here. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Some, if you were to go on Facebook and type in Dr. Gertrude Stacks on Facebook, there are people who have been posting their testimonies about how they were healed and how they were delivered. There was a young man, I don't know if he's in here tonight, who posted on there and said that he didn't even see himself living past 2017 until he met Dr. Stacks. He said her very presence gave him another mind to live. Come on and praise God. Hallelujah. When that glory walks with you, it changes lives. We're coming to a musical tr presentation. Brother Carlos Whitlow and the choir come in. Come on, let's thank God for Brother Carlos Whitlow. Who Mother Stacks love to hear. Come on, will you give God praise all of the room again? Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah. We give honor to God. Amen. And to Bishop Winans, amen, we give honor to you and to my pastor in his absence, the Bishop Charles J. Johnson III of the Anderson Memorial Church of God in Christ. We give him honor. I was so honored to receive this call to sing or to minister here today for my spiritual mother. And I wondered what would I do because we know mother didn't do choirs like that. She didn't do, <laughs> she didn't do choirs. So I brought a little team with me tonight and so we're just gonna do a couple congregationals that I know that mother would enjoy can we have a little church tonight come on will you clap your hands everybody come on
favorite songs we sung everywhere we went. Amen. Everyone look for Mother to sing, God's got a hook in me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We honor the Lord. Amen. For everyone that have come thus far. Amen. We're going to go back into our reflections. Amen. Let's receive Evangelist Kimberly Tate. Amen. Minister Boney, Pastor Carlos Williamson. Amen. In that order, in Jesus' name. Praise Him. Hey, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your praises. Hey, yes, Lord. He's been good. Hallelujah. He's been better than good. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. There's no failure in Jesus. Hallelujah. Giving honor to Pastor Winers, Bishop-elect Marvin Winers, to the Shalom family, 
to the Weatherspoon family, to the Stacks family. Hallelujah. I thank God for Dr. Stacks. I'm living because of her. Hallelujah. When I was a backslider many years ago, the devil was trying to kill me. And I remember we was in a special service, the atonement service. Hallelujah. It's very ironic I went to that service called the atonement service because Jesus atoned all our wrongs. Amen. And in that service, I had been really sick, but I didn't really know what was wrong with me. And I remember Mother Stacks had called out various conditions in this particular service. And it took about three months after I got up for prayer one day. And the reason I got up, the purpose of what I got up for, well, I was dealing with something else, but God showed her another thing. Mother Stacks didn't tell me exactly what it was because she didn't want to put fear in me. But what she did, the wisdom of God that rests in that woman of God, the knowledge that God has given her, she began to give me instructions. And she told me, it's not going to be what the doctors say. It's going to be what God decided to do for you. And I'm telling you, I was getting sick. And I didn't know what quite was wrong with me. Three months later, I went up to Dr. Stacks again. And before I can open my mouth, she called out to condition. She said, well, you came up before me three months earlier. He showed me exactly what it was. But he told me he was going to heal you. He told me he was going to deliver. He told me he was going to revive you. He told me he was going to set you free. And do you know my doctors was very nervous. They was very scared because within a month time, no more than two months, I had lost a hundred pounds. I had went down a hundred pounds. I couldn't eat. I was dying. I really was. The enemy came after my life while I was in a backslidden state. But Mother Stacks wore it in a spear for me. She told that devil, you cannot have her. You cannot take her life. She must complete her assignment. She must do what God has called her to do. So I rose today to give her honor for her life, her legacy, and her ministry. Hallelujah. We must contend for the faith. We must contend for the faith. God began to say to me the other day, you have to now make full proof of your ministry. Just like Dr. Stacks did. Hallelujah. We got to walk this walk. We got to keep the faith of God. Jesus. We got to endure the afflictions. Mm. We got to fulfill our sight. Yes, Lord. But therefore, it's laid up before us a crown of life. Yes, Hallelujah. God. I just rose to give God glory and to testify of his goodness through his wonderful vessel who's been a great vessel. Yes. Yes, a Lord. doctor and a mother to me. Give them praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> she said she's going to finish her can't stand here and just have words without testifying just because of the life that she lived and the things that she has done for other, other people. I came along and it was a setup. Mother Stacks, oh, I got to put it up to my mouth. Okay, Mother Mary. <laughs> Woo. And when I came to service one night, I sat in my seat. Well, I wasn't sitting myself. I was on my way to my seat. And she set me up. She said, I said, who, me? Am I supposed to go up there? <laughs> What's going on? So I went up there. And she told me to have a seat. To have a seat in the pulpit. And I didn't necessarily understand it, but I obeyed and did it. And ever since then, I've been working with her. And I thank God for what she has taught me, what she has imparted into me, what she has showed me, what I have seen, the works that has happened through her. There's things and stuff that I've seen that I never would have seen anywhere else. I didn't seen someone that laid down and had a laughing spirit on them and was delivered. So I know God is able. But we talk about love. We, we need to talk about charity. We talk about the love that she had for people. 
if we think about it, you go to Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13, it talks about charity. It tells you above all things, charity is the key. So that's the reason why she loved everyone. She had a gift to carry. She had to minister to people. She didn't care who you were. She didn't, know, she didn't care what time it was. Plenty of times after service, we, we're back there working and we're talking to people and, and Mother Stacks is in the, in the back office talking to people, showing people the way, praying for people. She took all that time with people and I just thank, thank her for showing me that because with seeing that, Mother Mary, <laughs> Mother Mary got me cut a couple of times being on the altar because she wanted me to move out the way and, and Mother Stacks said, no. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> Who am I supposed to listen to? <laughs> but I do thank God for um, Mother Stacks. She prayed for me. And um, at a time when I was going to school, I was supposed to be going to school to get a degree. And I wasn't enrolled. Every time I turned left, every time I turned right, I got a no. But needless to say, I got that degree. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Come on, we in a sanctified church. We ought to be able to stand up and praise him today. Now I'm going to spend my two minutes making you stand up. So if you want me to do that, I'll do that. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. If you live and they got breath in your body, praise the Lord, church. If COVID didn't take you out, praise the Lord, church. And y'all still sit. I've been away from church almost two years. And y'all still can come into church and sit. Praise the Lord. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on though, I'm gonna move on. Well, I work with Mother Stacks. They say work, travel, whatever, whatever you want to say. Okay, I'm gonna get, make it quick, real quick. Um, so I remember one time she said that, you know, I don't want to go, you know, doing anything. I shared this with Faith. You know, I don't want to go, I, wanna, I want him to come take me, you know. And they said they, they found her, she was sleeping. He, he took her. And so I said, man, you sure they didn't, he didn't take her while she was eating or, or driving or doing something? They said, no, she was asleep. I said, okay. So that means that I have to believe what she said when she prayed for me. That means she was actually talking to a Godhead that she called her. So all the shots, all the things that she prayed over me, my wife's life, and other people's life. Many in here, you know, and we, we still said, I remember, <laughs> I got one and a half minute and a half a minute left. I remember being so thirsty and the line kept growing. It seemed like they was getting people off the street and it kept growing. We would go to a revival the first night, it would grow. Then the, the next night, it would be twice as many people. And I said, my God, where's all these people coming from? They had a word that Mother Stacks was in the city. And I couldn't believe how many people I held up under the, it, it was hard. If you look at the videos, it wasn't easy. It was not easy, and I'm sure y'all criticized me too, but it was not easy because you didn't know when she was going to pop you. And she did that intentionally because she wanted to get the devil before he jumped her and us. So she had to pop you before you thought about it. And when she did that, it was just a different thing that came over the people. I don't know what it was, they, 
they staggered away. We got them up. You know, they was they couldn't move. We had to take them to the cars. I, I couldn't understand it. Now, look, I came from an AME church. Pastor Wine is no. I came from an AME church, and we didn't have that. We didn't have, and I'm sorry if somebody go to A&B church in here. Well, we didn't have that. My mother would put her turkey in and knew in two hours or an hour and a half, she would be back at home because the message was cut off at a certain time. It wasn't like that over here in holiness. I would be in church all day, all night. And people would line up to get to the back. And then I had to stand here, not in the same white coat, I want you to know, in a different white coat, and say, not yet. Not yet. But if you remember anything from what I said to make you laugh or giggle, that don't leave here tonight the same. If you're dealing with something, as I walk this way, I can still talk and walk this way. As you, if you're dealing with something, don't let Mother Stacks go from here, our help, that we knew that was our help, that would come to the hospital, that would pray for us, who would pray for our little bad kids, who would pray for you if you needed a mortgage or if you needed a car or she would give you money. That's the Dr. Sexton. Don't leave here tonight the same. It's enough people here with collars around their neck to help you. That's what we're here for. Don't leave here the same. Don't let pride get in the way. Tonight, make it so. Thank you. Tonight, make it so. You ain't got to take my mic, right? Amen. Before we put up this city, Williamson, I want to personally, amen, thank Brother Boney. All of us that served Mother, it was because of him giving us that opportunity. And we celebrate you tonight, Brother Boney. Do not leave here the same as y'all stand up. Don't listen to nothing he said. Don't leave here the same. Who's next? Don't leave here the same. Seriously. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's a worthy God on tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said he's worthy tonight. I said he's worthy tonight. I said he's worthy tonight. He's worthy to receive glory. He's worthy to receive honor. Certainly we give honor to the spirit of Christ. We honor the Lord for his goodness and his kindness. And protocol has already been established. But we thank God for Bishop Marvin Elect Winans and to all of the bishops and pastors and every one of you here tonight. Amen. Don't get quiet on me now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But I thank God. Hallelujah. For Mother Stacks on tonight. I came to Shalom in 2010. 2010, yes, and shortly thereafter, uh, sickness had tried to uh, hit my body. Glory to God, and the doctors had uh, diagnosed me with a condition, with a disease, hallelujah. Glory to God, and I'm not ashamed to tell it because I know it's not here. Hallelujah, but they diagnosed me with HIV. Hallelujah, glory to God, and it was Dr. Stax that went in prayer and came back with the message and told me, she said, God said you didn't have it. Hallelujah. And then I went back to the doctor. Hallelujah. And they ran tests and it was not there. Hallelujah. She told me, she said, I should have been gone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I said, I should have been gone. Hallelujah. Should have been me here tonight. Hallelujah. But because of God's grace and his mercy, I stand before you to tell you the truth. Hallelujah. I thank God for this woman of God and her life. Everyone talked about love tonight. Hallelujah. She loved us enough to tell us the truth. She loved us enough to rebuke us and tell us to go sit your little two cents self down. Hallelujah. And to learn something. Hallelujah. And even she learned, she taught us enough tonight. Amen. Glory to God to allow us to know. Hallelujah. But now we got to put on our bootstraps 
and we got to run now. I said, we got to run now. I said, we got to run now. Glory to God. And I just thank God for Mother Stacks in the life that she lived. She lived holiness. Amen. She believed the word of God and she lived what she uh, taught us. Amen. And I thank God for her. Hallelujah. I'm going to miss her much. Amen. But if I do what I'm supposed to do is what she told me to do in God. Amen. We shall see her again. Amen. Pastor Russo in that order. Amen. Let's put our hands together as they come. Take your time. Glory to God. Lord, it is good for us to be here. Anytime Dr. Stacks would call, I honor the household of faith. Anytime Mother Stacks would call me in Shalom to speak, it was to encourage the people. So I've come tonight in her honor and in her legacy to do the same thing. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. I honor my family. This is a great night. I know it's painful for some, but let me tell you something. This is victory. This is victory. Can we give God a praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dr. Stax's departure was carefully timed. And if we remember what she taught us, we would see it, Jared, in the numbers. 9, 20, 20, 21. 9, fruit. 20, redemption. 20, redemption. 21, sin. 9, fruit. 2, separation. 0 has no end. 2, separation. 0 has no end. 2, separation. 1, Unity with God. God knew what he was doing. It was her time. And he took her at the appointed time. And you know, uh, I, I hear a lot of you all talking, but Dr. Stacks, I got the prime time, Dr. Stacks, back in 1980. And I remember uh, the first time that I met them, we had a small church in in Champaign Urbana and we knew no, we knew something about power we knew b about deliverance and we saw power and deliverance in men never in a man never in a woman so we had this evangelist come into town and I was teaching and they said come have dinner because the evangelist is in town so I left the classroom and I run into the Saints house to have dinner with the two evangelists in town and I walked in the door and I said, hey, everybody. And I felt hands go all over me. Bam, bam, bam. And I, it, and I, I, I stood just, I, I didn't know what had happened. And, and I'm saying like, what happened? Dr. Stax was looking at a wall and Mother Boy wouldn't even look. And I'm like, what happened? And so I started talking in my mind. I said, I know y'all did something. I don't know what y'all did, but y'all did something. So y'all ain't gonna answer me? Okay, then I'll be quiet too. So all through dinner, I talked to them in my mind. So I don't know who you all are. But let me tell you something. I'm saved too. I came off that west side of Chicago. Let me tell you, the greatest thing ever happened to me is I fell in love with Jesus. When he saved me, I fell in love with him as a little girl, and that was the bond that Dr. Stax and I share. She fell in love with him too. We were married to the same man, and it wasn't polygamy, because we're his bride. But I sat at dinner with them that night. It was a quiet dinner, and I'm just talking. I'm just talking, because God didn't save me, and I, you know, I'm full of myself. 
got to the church last night, that night, Mother Boy was praying for people. Never heard a woman holler like that. Everything in the church sat up. And so she was praying and she said, I'm going to pray for the pastor's wife. And it's like, oh Lord, here we go, here we go. And people were falling everywhere. And I said, Lord, if this ain't you, I'm not going down. I said, this, this, if this ain't you, I'm not, I'm not going down. And so I stood up and I heard one of the young boys behind me. He whispered, he said, we're going to see if she's for real now. Because Sister Simmons don't play with God. And in that moment, I recognized the soberness of my own call. That they were watching me. That I had, a, I, had, I had to represent him. They had to know the truth. They were looking for the truth. So I went and I stood in front of Mother Boy. And she came. Bam! I ain't going down. <laughs> Bam! I'm not going down. Bam! I'm not going down. And she... She stopped and she stepped to me and she whispered in my ear and she said, you got to want it, baby. And I walked away from her and I said to myself, old lady, you just don't know how much I want it. You don't know how much I love him. You don't know how, how, what he's done for me. You don't know that I should be dead. And all that night, I kept talking to God. I said, God, I love you. You saved me. You brought me out of horrible pits. And all that night, I talked to God and I told him how much I loved him. So she was there for another night. And the third night, she came. She said, I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to pray for the pastor's wife. It's like, okay. But I had, I had been talking to God. And I tell you, I, I, don't, I don't know what happened that night. I stood in front of her, and when I came to, Sister Stax was chuckling, <laughs> laughing at me. And I knew that night that I didn't want to mess with my boy. So when they came, I would always tell Sister Stax, are you coming? Uh, I need your help. You got to help me. You, I used to, you got to help me. So when they would come, I'd try to almost climb in her lap because I didn't want mother boy. But through the years... <laughs> And we became friends. And you know, one thing I love about my sister, Dr. Stax was relentless. She, I don't know anybody that got up every day 50 years with a bullseye on her back. 50 years. She fought for 50 years. And I, you know, I'm an old school teacher, and uh, we need recess. <laughs> We can't fight like that. I, I need a three-day recess of Hallmark Christmas movies and some coffee. Because I couldn't, I couldn't run with her, but... <laughs> truth. Truth. But God gave us great grace, and uh, we had one job, and it was the same job. You know, you didn't have to publicize it, but we were called to protect the anointing. It's been my job for over 40 years. And it didn't matter whether it was in the pulpit, in the classroom, a child, a missionary. We were called to protect the anointing. And we did that to the glory of God. For our leaders, for our husbands, for our members. And then when the Lord began to take, you know, uh, the old saints away, it was she and I left. God took her to Harrisburg, raised her from the dead, sent her to the world. And she began to have tens of thousands of children because they belonged to him. He sent me into a wilderness for 20 years. When we hooked back up, then we had to protect one another. When I came to Shalom, I came to fight for the anointing, to protect the anointing. Didn't have to publicize it. Now, I know my time is up, but I have to say this. I prayed about this service and the Lord spoke to me and he said, he's called us from around the world for changing of the guard. And when he changes the guard, doesn't mean that the old saints aren't here. They fall back into the old regimen. 
Mother Boy, Dr. Stax, Bishop Stax, Pop Winans, Ron Winans, all the curl, they, they, they fall back and the new regiment comes into place. So he said, there's a changing of the guard. But he also said, there's a divine alignment. And I'm not talking about shift. When you shift, you move from one place to the other. When you're lying, you straighten up, Pastor Winans. You straighten up. And then he said to me, and I don't even know about this, he said, dress right dress. I said, God, I don't know what that means. Dress right dress. He said that's when the regiment of formation falls in line. You lift your left hand, you turn to the right because you got to get next to the person that's next to you. We've been come, we've been called to a divine alignment. And this is what he said today, and I'm, I'm done. He said this today. He said, don't miss, what was it? God's, oh, we have to pray against time thieves that come to steal our time, because he stops time to give us time to redeem time. He said, pray against, and he says pray against divine intersection interruptions that's what the Holy Ghost said this afternoon divine intersection interruptions you're here tonight for a divine intersection that man right there call the truth to order dress right dress dress front I don't, I don't, you know, I, I'm, 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 I'm sitting down like Brother Boney. You all think you know this man? You don't know this man. You didn't know that woman. This is God's anointing. This is God's vessel. It doesn't matter what he's done before. You are about to see the harvest come in. This is the man. This is the man. Command the troops. Dress, right dress. <laughs> Yes, I'm Dr. Danette Verche. Many of you guys know me as the girl from California by way of North Carolina and the daughter of Prophet Michael Verche, who was one of the sons in California of Mother Boy. Raised up by Apostle Stallworth, moved from the Holiness Church to Church of God in Christ. So I'm one of the little stragglers, and my daddy said, it's time for you to go to your spiritual mother. I said, which one? He said, she's going to be in your city. This is my dad. I said, which one? California, North Carolina, because I'm in between both. He said, North Carolina. So when I went to go see her, it established a bond. And in that bond, it was mutual of teaching. Me being a professor and being awarded a school from the University of North Carolina, Crystal Rain Institute, a mother teaching. And I said, my God, I said, Dad, I got to do something. He said, well, you need to give her her flowers while she's here. But it took some time because at first she told me she couldn't see me. She said, you've been on the platform. You've been doing this and you before your time. I'm 55 years old now. She said, you're a young 55, you're about 35. I said, really? And that was on August 23rd of this year. She said, but I trust you. And a while back, I, I gave mother, awarded mother in the church in Shalom, Crystal Rain Institute. We are an accredited seminary and Bible college by the University of North Carolina. 
And because of Mother's Academy and everything that she teaches, I certified and was able to qualify everything that Mother had been teaching and certify Academy. So Shalom has a lifetime charter from my school that is accredited to continue the education. So on August 23rd, when we had that long 30 minute, I think 29 minute conversation, it was about some things that she wanted to move forward, some things that she wanted to put out in the atmosphere to cause the kingdom to develop and cause the kingdom to grow and get on different platforms. And she said, but I got a project for you. Two projects, but one I'm just talking about the school. And so in that, she charged me to keep teaching. Raising up fivefold ministry, teaching in holiness and righteousness, letting the people know that they carry an apostolic and prophetic mantle, that the government shall be upon his shoulders. But he said, study to show thyself approved. A workman needeth not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. And in that I stand, and in that we continue to be brothers and sisters of Zion. We continue to be wholesome, but we continue to be saved and holy and living according to the standards of biblical proportion with the specificity of knowing that you are a kingdom kid, becoming didactic in the language of the Bible, of the scriptures, being able to call and recall and to read under the power and under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I don't know what fire you sit under, but that nobody should have to pump and prod you to read the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. So I believe that on this evening and given Mother Stacks her honor and Bishop where is due and Apostle Murray where is due, to God be the glory, Apostle Newton, for the good things that God has done, for the lives that Mother has touched. But you have to press on with Academy. You have to continue with what she started. You've got to continue to build the fellowship. You've got to continue to build the church and educate at the same time. But give God the glory for everything that he does. Take nothing for ourselves because we're nothing without him. Come on, put your hands together and praise him, everybody. Y'all busy checking me out, but come on, take, come on, give him praise. Come on. Come on, let's give him praise. Come on, everybody, praise him. Now, that was good for me, but come on, let's give him praise. Come on, clap your hands and praise him, saints. Come on, we serve a, listen, we serve a God that's alive. Come on, praise him. You ain't praise him. Come on, praise him. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you knew anything about Mother Stacks, Mother Stacks loved to have church. And she would shout. She didn't care. She'd shout. She would get up and she'd just tell them, put her hands together. And we'd start shouting. Amen. We thank the Lord for being here today. Thank God for all the many saints. Thank God, amen, for Bishop Marvin Winans and to, amen, all of the great men of God that are on the pulpit. And, um, amen, thank God for you. I thank God for coming, amen, being able to come. I love Mother Stacks. I know we all love, but I love me some Mother Stacks. Well, nobody like Mother Stacks. Now, I heard some of y'all talking about the power, but I experienced the, the rebukes. Come on, say amen. Okay. I didn't know which one was the worst, Pastor Collins or Mother Stacks. And if you got some rebukes from Pastor Collins, you know you've been cut. Come on, say it. Then, I, then Mother Boy went home to be the Lord, so the Lord said, go. He said, F start following Mother Stacks. I went to start following Mother Stacks. And um, I began to get blessed through Mother Stacks' ministry. And I began to get rebuked through Mother Stacks. Come on, say amen. Mother, M Mother Stacks believe in giving you them rebukes. Them rebukes going to come because they help you to grow. And um, it was a, just a blessing being with Mother Stacks. I wasn't able to travel with Mother Stacks, but I was able to sow into Mother Stacks' life. I can remember when I testified this one year New Year's Eve service when Mother Stacks was uh, 
when we was at the church and I was up talking and I was saying how the Lord spoke to me, told me to be a blessing to Mother Stacks and to give a $500 seed. And at that time, I had a problem in my feet that my feet was in so much pain until I began to drag my feet. And I was looking for a cane because I was going to get a cane because I could hardly walk. And the Lord said, sow a seed, a $500 seed into Mother Stax's life. And I sowed the seed, and I want you to know something. That pain, my feet came back to life. Come on, say amen. Come on, clap your hands. Feet, if you ain't never been in pain, where the doctors were giving you shots in your feet with long needles. I was getting three of those. He said, no. He said, the doctor said, no. He said, we're going to give you a shot. Your feet going to get better, and it's going to get worse. It happened just like that. But God spoke to me and told me to give that seed. And so then I began to, the Lord began to begin to plant seeds, and I began to talk to Mother on the phone, began to call her. So I began to sow $500, began to sow these seeds. And so Mother, she said, sow it to the bounty. I said, all right. And uh, I told Mother, I said, Mother, they took me off the road. She said, I told God to take you off the road. And one thing you know about Mother Stacks and Mother Boyd, if they ever told God something, he did just what they said. And uh, my life is blessed. Because to this day, I don't live for paycheck to paycheck. I did what Mother Stacks told me to do. So I went from sowing $500 to $1,000, especially when the pandemic hit. God said, sow $1,000. And I began to sow this 1000 every month. And I began to call her because I wasn't the type of person. She was my pastor. And I wasn't the type of person to always call her and uh, just talk because I knew she was busy either seeking God. And uh, when I would, I would call and say, Mother, I would be excited. I said, Mother, I sowed the seed. She said, and I got the text right. She sent me a text. Can I read the text? She sent me a text. And um, let me read this text mother sent me. All right, got it right here. She says, thank you so much. You're always on time. All is well. Going to the doctor, getting my body checked and in order. Pray for you. Be careful until we see each other again. God bless. Shalom. That was what she sent me. And so as she came to the church this last time in South Bend, and every time she comes, she'd tear it up. And so I was in the office getting ready and waiting for her to come in. And so uh, some one of the people had grabbed her by the hand. And so she got in the office. She's like, all these needy people. I, I said, yeah, mother, they needy. <laughs> she said, I said, yeah. She said, my, she said, my sister, she said, she said, I told them what to do, and they didn't do what I said do. I said, man, my mother, I got members just like that. She said, then she looked at me. She said, yeah, what are you doing? Uh, letting that girl count money, and she fresh off the street. I feel like somebody had punched me. She said, I didn't know you was that naive. She said, you're naive. I said, I am. I said, she just don't call me naive. Then she said, <laughs> she said, I know you're that stupid. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that, that was a rebuke. That wasn't a down put. That was a rebuke. I want you to know, I got, listen, when she rebuked me, I got my members. I rebuke it with the cut and come Sunday morning. I told him, uh, come on, sit here. Mother was a blessing. I saw many things. I've been following Mother Boyd and Mother, Mother Boyd and Mother Stacks for many years. I'm here to take my seat. But I thank God, amen, for Mother Boyd and Pastor Collins and Pastor Curlin and, and Pat Bishop Stacks. They was a blessing to me. I don't know which one was the worst between Donald Curlin and Mother Stacks and, and, and Pastor, Pastor uh, Collins. Amen. I received my rebukes. Come on, say amen. Amen. Receive my portion. God bless you. Come on, give the other hand praise. Amen. We're coming to a close. Amen. A lot of people knew Mother from the spiritual side, but those that had the opportunity to be close with her, amen. Mother loved us. She was funny. Amen. I posted a video the other day when Mother was teaching the academy. Amen. And people just didn't believe Mother Stax would say that. Amen. But Mother Stax was real. Amen. And we honor the Lord for her. Amen. She was down to earth. She was always talking about the spirit. Amen. But mother will have you laughing. Amen. Someone told me, mother have some, mother have some against big people. Because every time a big person get in line, she said, you got to lose this weight, baby. <laughs> it's pulling on your heart. <laughs> Amen. And well, we will be traveling and 
Amen. People would be so excited to get in the prayer line and the women would take off their shoes and get in front of mother. She'd say, where your shoes at? You don't disrespect God's house. Amen. And they would be running to their seat and we just be cracking up like we was trying to warn y'all. Amen. But mother was, amen, a mother to the body. I often told her, mother, you're just not a mother to us, but you are a mother to the body. Amen. So I didn't have a problem sharing her with anybody. Amen. Because I understood that God called her to the body. Amen. And we do, amen, getting ready to bring up our pastor, but we do honor the Lord. Amen. For Apostle Garfield Curlin. Amen. From Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Hallelujah. Amen. We honor the Lord for him. Amen. And we do honor the Lord. Amen. One of the last sons to come in and he came in and worked us and worked and worked and worked us. Amen. And brought mother to him. Amen. We honor the Lord for Chief Apostle James Newton. Amen. For Oak, from Oklahoma. Amen. He came in and was, was a blessing to our mother. Amen. And she was, amen, allowed to call him, amen, leading up to her last weeks, amen, and talk to him. And we honor the Lord that he came aboard, amen, to be a blessing to her. Amen. Amen. And we get ready to stand and we want to receive, amen, the gift of God, amen, the, amen, the pastor of this house. Can we stand? Amen. And as we stand and we honor the Lord for Mother Mary. Amen. We honor the Lord for Mother Mary. Amen. Mother Mary got a lot of us in trouble, telling us to move out of her shot. And Mother Stacks would turn around and say, I told you to stand here and don't move. Amen. But we honor the Lord for Mother Mary. Let's receive. Amen. Bishop Elect. Amen. Marvin Wine is in Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands and receive him. Praise God. You may be seated. Thank you so much. We know that um, these times can be taxing uh, and you don't feel it until tomorrow and the day after. Our prayers are with Shalom uh, because when you lose a pastor, you lose a lot. And so our prayers are with you um, to Mary. And uh, I've known this family all of my life. They were members at my great-grandfather's church. I know their grandfather, their mother, their father. And um, I just praise God for the memories. I will preach tomorrow, um, but I got saved in the same revival that Mother Stacks got saved in. It was a revival that lasted 150 days. There's Antoinette, Mother Boyd's granddaughter. And... Um, I remember when she was learning how to work an altar. Uh, Mother Boyd had been traveling for years and she had a lot of, I think, Gert and I, I mean Mother Stack, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm peanut to her and I'm, she's Gert to me, so. And so Ronald and I, would watch her as, and you know, she received, the reason y'all got all the rebukes is cause she got a lot of rebukes. And uh, Mother Russell, uh, Mother Gussie, all of those old saints, those folks that were her predecessors. When I look over and saw Sister Simmons, I was a skinny little teenager. When I was in Champaign Urbana, God has brought us a long way. And it's not over yet. So we're going to let you go.
standing he's so good he's so worthy he's so great that even though we don't know what's going to happen next we don't have to fear hallelujah hallelujah I'm going to call Pastor Darrell Blair from Fort Worth, Texas to come and dismiss us at this time. Come on, let's lift those hands. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, lift your voices, hallelujah. God will love you, come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father, we love you we thank you thank you for your anointing and thank you for your presence now God as we leave this place go with us and be with us cover us now strengthen this family minister to them through the night send angels that would speak with them and be with them touch this church in the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. As we go now, God, we counsel every assignment of the enemy. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you. And we counsel every assignment and send it back to the pits of hell from which it was originated from. We're leaving with victory. We thank you for the life and the legacy of Dr. Stacks now in Jesus' name. Touch our pastor as he prepared the word for us on tomorrow. That would strengthen us, that would encourage us, that would inspire us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Go with us in Jesus' name. Lift those hands one more time and just love on God as we leave this place. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. You can go in peace. We're not able to get a program for tonight there is a poster in the hallway that you can scan the QR code and get a copy of tonight's program amen
Amen. We ask with respect that you do not detain the family of the very center of this COVID. Amen. 